Gannon University students are making themselves at home in a new residence hall. And the unveiling of those rooms comes at a time when the university is seeing higher enrollment rates. Brianna Malone joins us in the studio with more on the new living quarters. Brianna. Jen Gannon University is welcoming the com community to view the new residential space for students that they say reflects different aspects of Erie. A dedication and blessing ceremony is being held for the official opening of South Hall student residences at Gannon University with remarks from the university president, students, and a blessing from Bishop Lawrence Persico of the Diocese of Erie. A ribbon cutting followed shortly after and then the community received a tour of South Hall. Units themselves are either single double types of uh, units but we have community kitchens so they've already started to uh, come out of their rooms and, and join together as a, as a family. Another feature of South Hall is an open space on the fourth floor with garage doors that open to give students a view of downtown Erie. The president says the four floor building currently holds 95 students. This is timely as the university is seeing skyrocketing enrollment rates. As we look at uh, a growing enrollment, we are at record enrollments this year at uh, over 4,700 students. We need places for them to live and it might as well be wonderful places like this. Not only does the building bring new life to downtown Erie, Eerie, but students also say it's convenient for their life on campus. My roommate, um, she likes to sleep in sometimes, and she's timed how long it takes to get everywhere. And like Palumbo is like a minute, the rec is like five minute walk. Um, even getting to CBI, which was a, not a struggle for us last year, but it was a pretty far walk uh, living in Finnegan. The vice president of student experience says the building is designed to reflect Erie Beach scenes from sunrise on the top floor, daytime beach to sunset, and night views of Erie in the basement. Sean. Thanks, Brianna.